Hi, this is Jacob Klinger, your Penn Live Steelers beat reporter, checking in again from Pittsburgh, where Justin Gilbert has just been released. The team announced it uh, earlier this afternoon, around about 4 o'clock. Justin Gilbert was the 2014 first round pick, 8th overall by the Cleveland Browns, traded to the Steelers for a 2018 6th round pick before this season. Now, usually when teams make that kind of move uh, right after cut day, it means they didn't have a lot of plans for the player that season anyway. Um, in Gilbert's case, you know, there was some value in that the Steelers were willing to to give a 2018 sixth round pick, especially to a team in Cleveland that's really trying to stockpile picks. But he never really stuck in the Steelers' defense. He did have a pretty good game in Week 4 against the Kansas City Chiefs where he just matched up on uh, tight end Travis Kelsey. But other than that, he was never really incorporated into the broader coverage. He told me at later points in the season that he did understand the coverages, that he was privy to how it was supposed to work. He was just not preferred over any of Artie Burns, Ross Cockrell, or William Gay. Uh, without Gilbert, the Steelers now have uh, those three who are effective starters this year, plus Al Hash Shabazz, Sanquez Golson, and Sean Davis. Sean Davis is primarily a strong safety for the Steelers now. Uh, Sanquez Golson hasn't played in two years, uh, but was set to be the starting slot corner this year. And Al Hashabaz was actually a former practice squad corner who came up uh, out of Westchester University, and uh, he, which is a Division II school. And at one point this season, uh, really the middle portion of the season, he was actually preferred over Justin Gilbert, even on defense. Um, part of this was the fact that Gilbert was recovering from, at the time, I believe, a knee injury. Uh, but other portions, Shabazz was just preferred over the former first-round pick. The Steelers saved about $2.1 million in cap space for the season, and Gilbert was due $1.2 million if he made the final roster. Obviously, he is not. There was one year left uh, on, his, on his rookie deal uh, that would have had a, a fifth-year option if he had still been with the Browns, uh, but obviously he's not. He's not with his second team either. And Justin Gilbert, a former star at Oklahoma State coming into the NFL, uh, is currently not in the league as we speak. Um, it's too bad for him. You know, there was a lot of talk when... He came to Pittsburgh about, you know, him wanting to, you know, be more timely and focused and get a fresh start. All the things you expect anyone to say. Uh, and he had had problems showing up to meetings on time, oversleeping alarms. And he told reporters, you know, look, that's changed. And even in the locker room, Steelers open locker rooms, you would see him bustling around, going to treatment, getting to meetings on time. He could have just been running away from us, reporters. But uh, for the most part, it seemed like he was really tuned into being where he was supposed to be when he was supposed to be. Unfortunately for him, that was just never really consistently on the field as a member of the defense. He only returned, I think, three kick returns for about 69 yards. Um, one of those, uh, most of those yards came on, on one chunk, and uh, he was just never really a part of what the Steelers were doing, and for the amount of snaps he was getting as a fourth, sometimes fifth cornerback, it's not worth two million in 2017, and the Steelers will look elsewhere, or perhaps not need another corner at all. Anyway, that's a little midweek check-in. Happy Monday. Justin Gilbert, no longer a Steeler. We will be checking in on the rest of the 2014 NFL Draft later uh, just to see where some of those other guys have ended up and progressed or not. Uh, from my first look at it, it was actually a, a pretty good first round. Um, and even some of the better guys were outside of the top 10. So we'll have more for that on PennLive.com. I'm Jacob Klinger, checking out from Pittsburgh. See y'all.